crashing waves, the in-homecoming memories, guiding them back to the place of beginning and the place of what is to come, the search for a partner to bring forth new life, the choice in what's needed to ensure a future for the Salmon Nation, traveling through depths of rolling waves, through ocean deep and shoreline bays, to where salt mixes with sweet songs of mountain streams, flowing to a meeting of life energy, changing chemistry of delicate beans, all the while traveling not alone, but with others, learning their patterns, learning their strengths, learning their compatibility, much like a lover's dance in the midst of a crowd of strangers in new but familiar spaces. Drawn together by what each other needs, resilient with memories of ancestors, reaching back to the time when salmon were people. Stories passed down following first frost, stories passed between relatives of land and of water, traveling around bends across currents, floating with each swish of tail, stirring something within, searching and traveling to a gathering of a nation long forgotten beyond the depths of the rivers and streams and seas. That ancestral memory carried on despite the floating oil and beads of plastic, the modification of bodies and of stream beds, despite the shrinking water and rising temperatures. That ancestral memory, instructions carried forward for the coming generations to seek the ones who hold the strength of the future in their beings. That mix of life energy, always a choice, a delicate dance between life and death. An end to a new beginning with the memories passed down, not by coincidence or by chance, but through searching for that one who can dance to the song of the salmon as instructed by the ancestors, whose voices continue to travel the currents, reminding all life of what beauty and balance and survival looks like. One last look to the one chosen to carry forward the Salmon Nation from one generation to the next, into the future, so their people may live.